Hi, I'm Peter Mackey. I'm the Executive Director of the new Education and Training Model, or the NETM. So obviously the construction of Bradfield and the Aerotropolis is all about infrastructure and planning. What the NEDM is about is really the soft infrastructure as part of that. And what I mean by the soft infrastructure, it's looking at the skills required for the people of Western Sydney to be able to benefit from the amazing opportunities that will develop through the investment that the authority is driving into the Aerotropolis. So we're talking about industries like advanced manufacturing, aerospace and defence, pharmaceutical manufacturing, freight and logistics. These are industries that are changing so rapidly. And what's behind that change is there is a massive need for the people with the right sort of skill sets. And unfortunately, um, we've got uh, a population in Western Sydney that's involved in industries where they don't have the opportunity to be able to take people offline and go and study for a year, six months. So the NEDM provides the opportunity to deliver very targeted training interventions which means that people can study micro credentials on the job while they're working and develop the kind of skill sets that they're going to need for the jobs of the future. In Australia we have one of the world's leading education and training systems but despite that employers are telling us that there is a gap between what they need in terms of on the job ready skills and what the education system is delivering and that's just because the, the, the technologies that are used in these industries are, are changing so rapidly that it's just impossible for the education and training sector to keep up and so employers are needing to invest time and energy and money into training their recent graduates on the job to make sure they've got the, the right kind of skill sets they need to be able to do their job correctly. So what is the NEDM? The NEDM is actually an experiment. We're piloting a flipped model here. So typically an education and training provider would develop a course and they would then go and market that to individuals and to industry. We're asking industry to come forward with proposals of targeted training interventions in the form of micro-credentials that they can deliver to their existing workforce or to recent graduates to be able to address those skills gaps. So what's a micro-credential? A micro-credential in terms of the NEDM is around 40 hours of content. It's content that can be delivered whilst someone is working. It's content that could be delivered partly online, partly face-to-face, and it's really using that mix of what the industry provider is bringing to the table in terms of the skill sets that they need and the expertise of the education and training provider and bringing those together in, in a form of co-development, co-design and in fact even co-delivery to make sure that the learner is getting exactly the right kind of content that the employer is looking for. The education system is really interested in the development of short courses and micro-credentials in particular and so the NEDM is actually providing an opportunity, a real live pilot opportunity for the the education and training sector and industry on the other hand to work together to understand how these micro-credentials will work and importantly micro-credentials will be, able, will be stackable for individuals so they can do different micro-credentials over time and stack these and these can go towards future qualifications down the track. So this issue of addressing skills gaps and making sure that the people of Western Sydney really benefit from the amazing opportunities that the Aerotropolis and Bradfield City Centre are going to deliver is the government has committed $37 million to try and address this issue of skills gaps. The NEDM has committed to develop 100 micro-credentials over the next four years and deliver these to at least 3,000 learners. So the really exciting thing about the NEDM is it's already underway. The first micro-credential has already been developed and that's a partnership between Western Sydney University and GE Additive. The program is on metal additive manufacturing and it is already being delivered in Western Sydney out at Penrith at WSU's Kingswood campus. And this is just the beginning. There's a whole range of really diverse micro-credentials currently underway in planning. These include semiconductor design and tooling, technical drawings, robotics, pharmaceutical manufacturing, composite manufacturing, just to name a few. So really the call to action here is we're looking for industry partners who can come forward with prospective micro-credential proposals. We're looking for proposals that will address skills gaps for companies in the sorts of industries that we talked about before, advanced manufacturing, aerospace defence, freight and logistics, pharmaceutical manufacturing, agribusiness, where they are really struggling to find people with the right skill sets, or their existing workforce lacks the kind of on-the-job skill sets, particularly in relation to those industries that have such rapid change in relation to technology. So if this sounds relevant to your business, let's start a conversation. I'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch with me and my team.